Hi everyone, and welcome to our walkthrough for Labaki's Cell Classroom location here in Engage. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll click this Start Session button over on the left side of our Engage home screen menu. And then we're gonna go up to this tab up here at the top left. Yours might not say Labaki, it'll probably say the name of the group or organization that you are working with. But regardless of what it says, this tab up here next to the public tab will be where all of the custom locations that we've developed will live that you'll have access to. So right here, we've got our cell classroom location. I'll go ahead and click on this using that trigger button under my index finger. Then I'll click on just me since it's only me in the session for right now. And then our cell classroom location will load. And here we are in the cell classroom. If we look around, we will see that we are surrounded by all sorts of organelles and floating in the cytoplasm of the cell. There are a few ways that we can move around in here. If it's your first time in VR, I would recommend using the teleport functionality. You've got a button under your thumb on your right hand labeled teleport. It's that A button on your right controller. And if you press and hold that button, you'll see that you can aim a circle around. You want to aim that circle at the ground until it turns green. And then when you let go, you will jump to that location. You can use the joystick on your right hand to turn which direction you're looking. Turn it to the right, you'll look to the right. Turn it to the left, you'll look to the left. You can also use the joystick in your left hand to move smoothly forwards, backwards, left or right. But if it's your first time in VR, you fight, might find that this isn't as comfortable for you as teleporting. Not everybody's stomachs agree with that smooth movement. So we recommend sticking to teleporting at the start until you find out what's most comfortable for you. All right, let's get started with our tour. You'll see that all of our organelles here have these little info buttons floating around them, these little blue and white eye buttons. If we aim our pointer at these buttons, we can click on it with that trigger button, and we can get this little infographic that pops up. So each infographic will tell you what the name of the organelle is, so we can see that this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It'll show us a labeled diagram of that organelle, so we can see that the smooth ER is different from the rough ER because it doesn't have any of these ribosomes that stud the surface of the rough ER. So it'll give us that labeled diagram as well as a brief description of that organelle and its functions within the cell. Another cool thing is I can actually jump up on top of any of these organelles, get up nice and close to them and look at all their details. Let's go check out a few more over here. We've got a mitochondrion right here. Again, same labeled diagram as well as a brief description. And we can hop up in here and get nice and up close and personal with it. All right, let's go back around to the front of our nucleus over here. You see we've got a couple of buttons right here. I'm gonna click on this green button that says Open Nucleus. Our nucleus will slide open and we can teleport up inside. All right, so now we are standing right in front of our nucleolus within our nucleus. And over to our right, we have a pretty big strand of DNA. We can actually use these buttons over here to control that strand so I'll click on this green button that says play transcription loop. And you'll see that our strand of DNA actually starts to unzip and get transcribed into a strand of pre-mRNA. So back over here at the buttons, there are a few more things that I can do. I can pause this at any point and we can go over and take a closer look. You can see that all of our base pairs are labeled, and we can see that the A pairs with the T, the G pairs with the C, all the way up and down our double helix here. And of course, because this is RNA, our T's turn into U's right here. 
I can just click on that play button again to resume the animation. I can click on this snail button to play it in slow-mo. Or I can click the blue reset button to bring it back to the start and have it not play at all. Next, I can hit this purple button that says send pre-mRNA to ribosomes. And we'll see it unzip just like it did before. But then our strand of mRNA is going to travel out of the nucleus and on over to the next step in the protein synthesis process. So up next, we have this golden button that says make protein chain. If I click on this, you'll see we have a giant ribosome that pops up. And we start to transcribe our mRNA into a protein chain of amino acids that will then start folding up and move on off to its next location. So just like before, we can hit that reset button if we want to watch it again or play it in slow-mo or pause it at any point and take a closer look. We can see that we actually have our codons transcribing what's going on here as they form our amino acid chain. And we can actually use a tool here to figure out what amino acid it's making in the protein chain. So let's go ahead and launch our amino acid chart. That'll appear over here. And so now if we look at these three right here, we've got a U, a G, and then a C. So let's take that information over to our chart and see what we've got. U, G, C. So it looks like this amino acid that it's forming is cysteine. Similarly, if we look at our very first block of three here, we've got A and then U and then G. And because that's the very first block, A, U, G is our start codon, methionine. And so we would hope that our very last one UAG will be our stop codon. Let's go check and make sure. And sure enough, UAG is our stop codon that will tell our protein chain to stop forming. So this is a great tool. I would recommend having your students get familiar with this and see if they can decipher what sort of proteins are being formed here. A couple more things I want to show you all in this location. First of all, if you look up, you'll see that we are underneath some crystal clear blue skies. But if you want to feel totally encapsulated in the cell, we can click that close membrane button. And now we are fully surrounded by the cellular membrane in here. I personally prefer it with the open membrane, so I'll open it back up. And you'll notice as well that right now we are pretty much at eye level with all of our organelles in our cell here. Let's say you wanna show your students that classic textbook view of a cell split open, looking down on all of the organelles. To do that, we'll have to get up a little bit higher and we'll use the elevator for that. So I'll click our elevator button and here it is. You can see we've actually got a pretty cool floor here this is a scanning electron microscope render of what the inside of a cell like this might actually look like. Lots of crazy stuff going on there. Our model is a little bit simpler, but still pretty cool. So I will teleport us inside of our cellivator right here. You'll see there's a little invisible chair that will help us stay in place as the elevator goes up. If we look over to our right, we'll see that we've got our controls for the elevator. I'll go ahead and click this up button. The door will close and we will go up, up and away. Rise up just over top of the nucleus of our cell here. And then if you're feeling particularly brave, when we reach the top, the door will slide open and we can actually go ahead and walk out over this 
invisible floor and take a look down on everything. You might have your students look at the info panels of the organelles first and learn a bit about them. Then bring them up here and see if they can identify them from a new perspective. Once we're done up here, we can teleport back into our elevator. Another cool thing about our elevator is that we can actually hide it at any point. We feel like we are totally floating up here. So we'll ride down in the invisible elevator. But of course, I can turn it back on at any point. All right, we are back down on the cytoplasm ground of our cell, and that concludes our tour. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoy using the cell classroom to teach in your own classrooms.